Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Before we get started, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Now, I'm not going to cover the article you see on the screen, though I did want you to see it. And the reason I'm not going to cover it is because I may get banned from all of the social medias because it's one of those subjects that people don't want you talking about. But I am going to leave a link below so you can go and read up on this yourself, which I think you really should. Today, though, I am going to cover the curious case of the Gorilla Glue Girl. After spending 22 hours in the emergency room over the weekend, Tessica Brown, a.k.a. Gorilla Glue Girl, is still looking for relief from her hairy predicament. Brown went viral last week after sharing videos. My hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. For Watch, watch, look, look, y'all, look, look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living at this point. Like, this is the life that I guess I'm going to have to live. <laughs> About her predicament on TikTok, which caught the attention of Chance the Rapper and many others who expressed both amusement and concern over the situation. On Twitter, Chance the Rapper says, I'm glad MFS actually supporting her through this. When I watched the video the second time, it was hard to laugh because I could tell Shorty genuinely didn't know she had put one of the world's most powerful adhesives in, in her, her hair. I hope she recovers well. TMC says Brown has since obtained a lawyer and is looking into her legal options as far as moving forward with the lawsuit. Gorilla Glue released a statement expressing sympathy for Brown, but noting that it product specifically warned against getting the product on eyes, on skin, or clothing. Gorilla Glue, we are very sorry to hear about the unfortunate incident that Ms. Brown experienced using our spray adhesive on her hair. We are glad to see in a recent video that Ms. Brown has received medical treatment. Put the, put the water, put the water, water. Oh. From her local medical facility and wish her the best. I'm sorry, and it sucks that this happened to her. And, you know, it's not really clear why she did it. On the screen, I do have this one hair gel called Moko the Gorilla that you can see here clearly. And on the right, we have the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. So it's not clear whether she thought one was the other or not. But, man, I think if you read the bottle and you read the warnings, which you really should do, it'll tell you there not to do it. And it's good to see that she's getting medical attention and she did start a fundraiser, so people will probably donate to her medical bill for this. But uh, it's also unclear if she's going to be able to have normal hair again or anything like that, if there's going to be any side effects. It probably hurts pretty bad too. So guys, please read the warning labels on stuff before you put it on your body or in your body and well 
leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And tomorrow we'll have some more. And I do plan to change it up a little bit more. I'm trying to get more subscribers. And it looks like the current format that I've had for a long time doesn't work. So I'm going to try something new. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum. Ah!